friends, Debbie here with Debbie Gets Crafty and today I have a little friend mail. In previous videos I have mentioned that I have never worked on the little glass cases that you can diamond paint and my dear dear friend Sweet Tea from Diamond Painting with Sweet Tea she gifted me a package from Amazon and not only is it one of the glasses kits, it's three. So I'm very excited about that. So we're gonna go ahead and look at these. Let me just go ahead and crack that open. They're each individually wrapped, so that's convenient. There we go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at each one of these. We'll start with this one first. Thank you again, Sweet Tea. This was so sweet of you. I'm really looking forward to working on these. Right now I'm actually uploading videos for the week, so that's why I wanted to go ahead and take some time to do this. So this is what it looks like. It's a really cute case and it's got your diamond painting design on the front. Isn't that pretty? And then you'll lift this little, there you go. Lift that up and you'll have the rhinestone drills on the inside. Looks like there's six colors. So pretty. Looks like there might be some specials in there too. How nice. And it also comes with your standard toolkit, your green boat, your pink pad of wax, and your pink pen. This is all you need, my friends, to diamond paint. Not just one of these, but any diamond painting. And let's see here. I happen to have another pair of glasses here that I can, ooh, they fit in there perfectly. Plenty of room. So that'll be great to take along in my pocketbook. Excellent. All right. So we'll go ahead and put these away. And I love that pattern with the purple on it. There's another one that's got even more purple on it. So I'm really excited about that one. So I'm gonna close that up, set that off to the side. And this is the one. Sweet Tea, this is speaking to me. I think this is going to be the first one that I do. As a matter of fact, I'm going to kit this up and work on it right now, today. After I show all three, we'll kit it up and work on it. So you turn it over and flip it open. There we go, and that reveals the package of drills. Lots of purples. And your toolkit. And it's got a nice soft velvety type of a, a lining in it. So that's really nice. Looks like there's a little, there we go. A little bit of a thread there, but that is coming right off. Excellent. So we'll set this aside right up here because we will be working on that today. And our third one has lots of pink in it too, which is my favorite color. And I'm going to put one of these in my, isn't that pretty? I'm gonna put one of these in my pocketbook, keep one on my nightstand and one at my desk. Standard toolkit. And here are the beads for that one. And this one has some special beads in it too. How pretty. You can see that special teardrop bead. 
So this will get put over here for now because we're going to work on this kit first. So let's get started. I happen to have an empty case here. Now I do have some numbers on it already. Let's see. And we're going to take a look at these because I might be able to use some of these that are already numbered. There we go. All right, my friends. So we happen to have one, two, three, four, five, and then A, C, and F. Okay, so I can use some of these. And then I'll just grab one of my spare sheets of labels and my pen, excuse me. There we go. So I do have a one, a two, a three, and a four, and a five. So I have to use, I have to do the A, C, and F. So let me just go ahead and write A, C, and F. Okay. So what I think I'll do is open these up. Let me grab a, let's grab a boat that we can put our, there we go, that we can put these in, and my scissors. Okay, there we go. So we'll start with number one. And it looks like they'll fit just fine into the each of these little individual containers. It doesn't look like there's too many there. There we go. Excellent. So we'll go ahead, get that started, close that one up, go to number two. Give that a little shake, shake everybody down to the bottom. Open up my number two, put that there. There we go. Close that one. Oh, this is a pretty purple. Look at how dark that purple is. Here, I'm gonna show you what it looks like in the boat. There we go. So number three is this really pretty, pretty purple. Let me just go ahead and make sure all of these drills are out. And come on. I like to slide the little, uh, there we go, just like that. So I know where it is. Look at how pretty that purple is, friends. Isn't that gorgeous? So we'll pour this into the number three. And of course I had to spill some, but that's okay. I only spilled one. There we go. All right, now we're on to the number four. And, oh, this is another purple. This is a little bit deeper, I think. There we go. Number four. This looks more like grape juice. <laughs> the other purple had a little bit more of a blue hue to it. This one has a little bit more of a red hue to it. There we go. Give it a little shake. This is number five. Just double checking. Yes. There we go. And there we go. All 
done right there. Put that in there. And now we're on to the letter A. So we'll go ahead and I'm going to put the letter A right here because why not? All right. Why not? This one has some pretty... Oh, look at those. Let me pour one or two out. Aren't they gorgeous? Look at that. They look like aquamarine teardrops. Alrighty, and then we'll do the letter C. Put this little tab in here. There we go. The letter C. We'll stick right here in this second number four. There we go. Wonderful. And then we'll see what type of a special drill that this is. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at those. Oh my stars, my friends, look at those. Those are teardrops. Blue teardrops with like a an AB coating on them. Creates such a beautiful effect. And then we have these last ones, the letter F. And I'll pour these out before I go ahead and put my sticker on. Here we go. Oh, they're pretty too. They have more of a purpley gold and blue hue to them. Just put this over here. There we go. And look at that oh my god they're so pretty with the purple and the gold and the blue and the green really stands out it's a faceted stone there we go and we're all set so we'll go ahead and put those there and why don't we get started i happen to have a pen available and my boat is right here. Let me just get rid of these bits and bobs. There we go. And let's get started. We'll pull that protective cover off, put it right here, and I'm going to zoom in. There we go. Move this down a little bit. And I think we'll work from the bottom up. So we'll start with the letter A. Okay. And we'll go ahead and put in, you know what? This is a job for my special pen. Bear with me for one moment. I have to go and get it from another kit. There we go. That's not the kit. since I have many kits working at the same time and just adding to, adding to it why not right there we go that's what I wanted so put that right back there all right so we'll start with the letter a there we go isn't that pretty? Sweet tea, I can't tell you how much I appreciate this gift. This is really neat. Now I can't say that I've never worked on the glasses case before because when I'm done, I'll say not only have I worked on one, I've worked on three. And these are super pretty. I'm being very careful. It's got like a leather-like material 
that covers it. And again, with that velvety, that buttery velvety inner lining to protect your glasses. And you can put sunglasses in here. You know what I mean? My glasses happen to, to uh, change to sunglasses outside, so I don't have to worry about that. But I do have a pair of computer glasses. That's why I'm going to put one in my at my desk and then one at my nightstand because, of course, when I go to sleep at night, I take my glasses off. So I want to have some place. And I just set them on my nightstand, but at least this way I know they will be safe and sound. I have one, two, three, four, five, five left over. So that's nice. So there's no shortage. So now I'm going to go with the number one. And the number one happens to be all here and all up in here. So we're going to go ahead and start. There we go. just do this one thing there we are and once I'm done with this little section right here we're gonna take a quick little break I need a drink of water and I can't let my I can't let it go over a half hour because then my um, the software that I use to edit won't let me upload it, so I have to do this in sections. But that's okay. We're going to go ahead and get the whole thing done today, but you'll see me cut away and then come back. So, there we go. I'll try to get the number one completed in this way. There we go. Whoop! <laughs> Stuck right to me. There we are. And then this way we'll work on the next number that we see. The stick is real good coming along really quickly. These are teeny tiny little drills. So sparkly though, so shiny. Really nice. There we go. Sweet Tea is such a generous person. She is just a wonderful lady and I'm thrilled and honored to call her my friend. She and I have had many a conversation, not just about crafting, but for, with other things as well. And I just really enjoy talking with her and uh, getting to know her. She's really a, a, an amazing lady. very generous. There we go. We're going to go ahead here. Once we're done with the number one, which is this beautiful turquoise blue, then we'll go ahead and take a quick break. There we go. Almost done with the number one. go and looks like I'm complete with the number one let me just do a quick little run through yep okay so friends we're gonna go ahead put the number ones away and look I mean I still have so many left over that's awesome you know I'm gonna keep these so for sure put them to good use 
Friends, I'll be right back. Just need to wet my whistle and I'll be right back. Hello, back again. Just had to have a little sip of my water and we're back. And you know something, friends? I think I've gone all this time without asking how you all were. I apologize. I definitely want to know how are you today? This is Sunday. You're seeing this on a Sunday evening. Well, this is being posted on a Sunday evening. So, um, you are seeing this on the day that I'm filming this, which is rare because I typically film things days in advance. But I had a little time. I actually was very productive over Friday evening and Saturday where I got all of my normal videos that I wanted to post filmed and to, this morning I edited everything and got it all scheduled up on YouTube so I said you know what I had some time on my hands and I had this gift this wonderful gift from my dear friend Sweet Tea and I was going to go ahead and unbox it and work on it I could not wait and as soon as I saw the purple one I knew that was the one I wanted to work on in honor of Sweet Tea because purple happens to be her favorite color. So, whoopsie. See, I told you it's got great stick. There we go. So I decided to work on that number three, that beautiful purple. And we're going to Keep a watch on the time because like I said, we're going to do this entire project right now. So hope you have a nice little beverage <laughs> because we are in it for the haul. We're going to do this entire case today. There we go. The other cases I'll work on off camera, but I wanted to Thank Sweet Tea for her generosity by completing this purple one on camera. There we go. It is so hot here in Tennessee today. I mean, it's been just miserable hot lately. And today it rained just a little tiny bit. I mean, barely a sprinkle. Spoda was outside playing fetch with Todd and he didn't even get wet. I mean, it just barely sprinkled. Just enough though to kick that humidity into high gear. It's so humid outside you don't even want to open your your door i mean it's just that humid it, it just slaps you right in the face and you you can honestly you really have a hard time breathing out there in the humidity because the air is so thick and so heavy and dense and just ugh, not a good environment especially if you are somebody who suffers from issues with your lungs outside in that kind of heat and humidity is not where you want to be honestly Todd is making chicken cacciatore today homemade chicken catch chicken cacciatore I went ahead and I said I made a mistake and called it Kitchen Chakatori. <laughs> so he has been making fun of me all day saying that. But I love Chicken Cacciatore. And um, he just makes it really simple. Honestly, friends, his recipe for Chicken Cacciatore is... Um, we're going to use some boneless, skinless chicken thighs. You could use breasts. You could use whatever you want. And... Um, a couple of jars of marinara sauce 
he usually uses his own homemade sauce but we didn't have any in the freezer and he picked up a couple of jars they had them on sale at our local grocery store and it was a pretty good sale so he's like you know what I picked up a couple of these jars of marinara sauce didn't know what I was going to use them for but I figured maybe tonight we can have chicken cacciatore I was like okay so uh chicken boneless skinless chicken thighs this is how he's making it today a couple of jars of the marinara sauce or homemade sauce whichever you happen to have on hand and then he slices onions a couple of onions thin probably one onion because he does slice it fairly thin he puts a little sauce on the bottom of the baking dish lays the chicken on top of that little layer of sauce and then he pours the rest of the sauce on top of the chicken and then he puts a layer of the sliced onion on top and then a, with a little bit of whatever's left in the sauce he'll pour over top of those onions pops it in the oven for about an hour or so and holy cow it is so good now I never had chicken cacciatore until I started dating Todd and we would go over to his mom's house for dinner and that's the first time I had it and I loved it her, her version this is her version of it and I loved it and she always made it with a side of mashed potatoes so that's the only way I've ever eaten it with is with a side of mashed potatoes so whenever we make chicken cacciatore in our house we always make sure we we make some mashed potatoes so that's what we're having for dinner tonight chicken cacciatore or kitchen chacatory <laughs> and mashed potatoes so that is what's for dinner tonight now listen friends the rest of the week I haven't got a clue when I go out from work every night and sit at the table then I usually get a surprise as to what's for dinner so and we'll probably have a nice little green salad with our chicken dinner tonight Oh, that's coming along really nice. I'm going to move this down a little bit. I have some threes right here, and that'll probably do it for the threes. I think. Yep. Okay. awesome there we go now I think we'll work on the number two I just so happen to have the number two right here so might as well work on it there we go and it's a pretty green color Isn't that pretty Okay, kids, once I'm done with the number two, then I will take another quick break and we'll continue working on our project. There we go love the way the colors the blue the greens and the purples I love that combination I think it's just so pretty I get peacock vibes when I think of those the color combination I love working with rhinestones
And these are really pretty shiny rhinestones too. There we go. Just continuing onward. Right there. I'm just going to lift this up a little bit, my friends, so I can see that, yep, I got it right on the button. Excellent. And you know what? I'm going to do the middle portion, the letter F. Why not, right? Oh, my stars. I love these. Look at how beautiful they are. The camera is not doing them justice, my friends. The gold color and the blue color and the green color that are popping out along with that purple. Oh, totally delicious to the yummy factor. There we go. And I'm going to have some of these left over, too. Superb. Yeah, I'm going to have five, six... I'm going to have six of these left over, too. That's awesome. And now for the number... Oops, had to bring that back out. Number five. And this is a pretty light lavender purpley color. It's not showing up that, like that on camera, but that's what it is. Oopsie. Gotta make sure they're setting straight there, setting up nice and even. There we go. And we'll go from the top there. There we go. Perfect. loving these colors. The colors on the other glasses cases too, they're so pretty. There we go. I'm going to give it a few more minutes and then I'm going to go ahead and um, oh, I missed a one. That's all right. Gonna give it a few more minutes and then I'm gonna pause for another break. So my job at my job, they've asked me to um, record some messages, do like some voiceover work for them. And it's been a complete honor and just a dream come true. I've always wanted to do that. And uh, so it's been a lot of fun doing that as well. Let's see here. I'm going to just grab one of these number ones and put that down there. There we go. Ah, much better. Okay. <laughs> Now it feels complete. Okay, moving along. I'm just going to set this right up here. So that's been a lot of fun. Friday, uh, I did four of the um, promotional messages on top of two that I've done previously the week before. So I've got six that I've done in total. And I'm honored that I was asked to do that. There we go. And I have just a little bit more over here and in here. And then we'll call it a break.
it was so funny the day they asked me if I wanted to, you know, if I would be interested in doing the messages. And they said, we've been sitting here listening to these AI uh, voices and realized we happen to have somebody that works with us that has a better voice. So would you be interested in doing this? And the whole time I was sitting there, it was all, you know, over the phone that they were asking me this. And I, if they saw my face on camera, they would have seen me, you know, oh my gosh, just like with that look on my face, like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is a dream come true. Uh, so I said, of course, I'd be happy to. So, that's what's been going on with me. Todd is doing very well. He is continuing to lose weight. He is really feeling good. So, I couldn't be happier about that. His blood pressure is better than it's been in years. The sugar is still a work in progress, but we are getting a handle on it much better than it was so all right friends i'm just going to take a another quick break this will be the last one and then i'll be right back we'll finish up with the number four and then the letter c and then it'll be done so hold on we'll be right back all right we're back for the last little bit that we have here on our beautiful little glass case so let's go ahead and we will get started with the number four and let's see here there we go. Oh, I missed a number five. Give me one moment. Goodness, Debbie. You know I would have gotten it eventually. There we go. Right there. Okay, so let's go ahead. And I missed another one. Well, I just poured out all of the fives right onto my, right onto my thing here. So did I miss any more? Come on, friends, tell me. Nope, I'm good. So now we'll open up the dark, dark purple one. Ooh, this is that grapey color. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Okay. So, anywho. I've always wanted to do voice work. Or radio or something like that. I just never pursued it. That's all. I never went to college for communications or anything like that. So, never got my foot in the door. But you never know. I mean, this, you know, you just never know. It might give me the courage to try to pursue, to look into doing something like that. I'm being super duper gentle because I don't want this very thin pointy end of the uh, instrument to pierce through this leather like material and rip it. So I apply just enough pressure to gently move the rhinestone without, you know, overdoing it. You have to be super careful. And you have to really have good aim, which is something I'm not good at right now. There we go. There we go. There. I was watching another YouTube creator. She does, um, like, uh, different DIY ideas for Dollar Tree items. You know, things that you get from the Dollar Tree. And you can put them together to make different, you know, DIY projects. She had just gotten married recently. And she had put a video out of uh, the highlights from her wedding. And she also, in this video, she also said that she wanted to talk about 
things at her wedding that she regretted and things that she would change. Well, friends, I'm here to tell you, uh, Thursday, this coming Thursday, the 27th, my husband and I will be married 25 years. We'll be celebrating our silver wedding anniversary. And, you know, the more I, I heard this young lady talking about the, mis the, the the regrets that she had. She didn't say mistakes, regrets that she had about her wedding. I thought I felt very bad for her because so many times, you know, of course it's your wedding day and you want it to be so special. And I say special. I'm not going to say perfect. I'm going to say special. And there's a reason because my friends, no matter how hard you try, nothing is perfect. Absolutely nothing. That is a guarantee in this world. Nothing is perfect. And to try to chase after something being perfect, you're setting yourself up for disappointment and I, th I thought to myself, sweetheart, you shouldn't have any regrets about your wedding. You should have only happy memories. Um, and yes, are there things you might have wanted to do different? Yes, but don't regret the choices you made at the time for your wedding. And always remember this, my friends. It's not the wedding day that makes the marriage. It's the day after that, and the day after that, and the month, the weeks, the months, and the years after that. That's what makes the marriage. The wedding day is just a party. It's the days, weeks, months, years after that, that make the marriage. And if something, if you have a misstep, on your wedding day don't let it get to you don't don't think everything is ruined and it's not going to be perfect you know what it's already perfect because you found a partner that you want to spend the rest of your life with and you want to celebrate that with your nearest and dearest friends and family and not everybody has that chance to get to marry their partner, the one that they love, their soulmate. So just remember, it's not the wedding day that makes the marriage. It's every single minute beyond that. That's what makes the marriage. And marriage, my friends, is not for the faint of heart. Marriage is not disposable. Unfortunately, these days, it's treated like it is, but it is not. It is a lot of hard work, and nobody, and I mean nobody, is going to say marriage is easy because it is not. There is a lot of sacrifice and a lot of compromise, and when you love someone, that's what it's all about. You compromise, you listen, you compromise. And there are times where you'll have to put somebody else's feelings and choices ahead of your own. There's nothing wrong with that. Don't lose sight of yourself, though, you know, because it is compromise on both sides. And when you find somebody that's willing to give as well as take in a relationship, then you're pretty lucky. Me, I'm the luckiest gal in the world. I got to marry my best friend. There we go. There we go, my friends. So, this is the finished product. Isn't that pretty? Let me go ahead and take it back a bit going up. There we go. 
So this is what it looks like all finished. Oh my gosh, sweet tea. Look at all those beautiful purples and the blues and the greens. Oh, that is so pretty. It reminds me of a peacock. And then you just turn it over to its side and you can open it up. And there you go. And put our glasses in it. There we are. Close that up. Oh, sweet tea, thank you so much. So I'll show you this finished product. Put that right in the middle. And then the other two that I will be working on. Friends, thank you so much for spending some time with me today while I unpackaged this beautiful friend mail from my friend Sweet Tea from Diamond Painting with Sweet Tea. And as I kitted up and worked on my very first glasses case. Now I can't say I've never done one because I clearly have and it is a beauty. Please friends take care of yourselves especially in this heat and hot weather if you are experiencing it in your neck of the woods. Please consider subscribing to my channel. Hit that bell notification. You'll be notified every time I upload a video. Please hit that like button and also leave me a comment. Let me know what project you're working on. Have you ever worked on an off the canvas project like glasses cases? They're really neat and I really like the quality of them too. This won't be my first set and last set. It's definitely not going to be my last set. I'm going to get more after this. Sweet tea, you got me a you got me started on these cases now. So, I want to thank you. And also, uh, friends, please let me know how you're doing as well. Until I see you all again, God bless you all. Take care. Happy crafting. Goodbye now.